We're near Sand Lake, Michigan. It contains a lake with no sand, a gas station with free popcorn, but more importantly, it begins legal snowmobile travel on the White Pine Trail, a 90 mile linear state park that's gonna take our crappy snow machines from here to the Great White North, and from there across the deadly ice straits towards Mackinac Island. So what we brought with us today is three bargain snow machines. Okay, my machine right here is a 1980 Chrysler Snow Runner. Okay, originally built for the military. Now it turns out uh, it doesn't actually work real well in the snow. But what it lacks in mobility, it does make up for with portability. You can break this thing down and put it in the trunk of a Honda Civic. Okay, what I've got is a 2003 Honda CRF50 miniature dirt bike. It's got a studded rear tire in the back and a ski. And I, of course, have brought the ultimate budget machine for snow travel. A Scorpion Whip TKX 440. It's got a twin cylinder Kyuna motor, all aluminum lightweight chassis, brand new carbides, and when it was built in 1979, it was the fastest sled in the world. Dude, that's not even remotely true. And thus began the first cheap ass challenge. Well, for two of us. Alright, to be totally honest, all snowmobiles are pieces of shit, especially 1979 Scorpion Whips. It's dead on the trail, and I'm gonna switch to our camera sled, a 1981 Yamaha Exciter. We'll see how this one goes, hopefully I can catch up with those guys. And so it took us just under four hours to arrive in Cadillac, Michigan, a place of bush drinking, unemployment, and sled burning for fun. But they do have a couple of frozen lakes that we can test the top speed of our snow machines on. So slushy or not, we gave it a go. What you got there? What is it? What's the number? 41 miles an hour. <laughs> well yeah. done, my friend. Well, like I well said, done. it's seriously slushy though. I don't know if, I don't think you guys can even move. So in typical Luke fashion, being good at everything, he hit the ice, entered the full tuck position, and went the fastest anybody's probably ever gone on a snow run. 23 miles an hour. <laughs> 23. Although not entirely unexpected, X's wheel contraption couldn't even make it out onto the ice. I was getting hungry for mozzarella sticks, X was getting cranky, it was getting dark, so we hit the trail. It's starting to get dark. And I don't have headlights. So I Luckily for us, up north Michigan doesn't have a shortage of snowmobile dive bars. Mozzarella sticks, jalapeno poppers, chicken finger tender crispers, anything you want. It's just a deep fryer and cash only purchase away. So how you feeling there, Matt? Like shit, to be honest. Yeah, why is that? Riding these things is the worst thing in the world. Yeah, kill yourself. Here you go. Genuine fila, okay? <laughs> what is Matching it? coat, right? It has nothing to do with snow rabbit. Full gear. Yeah, 1996 called. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, how much did you spend on your gear? Yeah, X? I got some jeans on and I've um, frozen myself to the point where I'll never have children again. Right, warm today, 21 bucks, Salvation Army. Done. 
Yeah, I spent two hundred dollars on a coat. Yeah, and you that still is, got the tag on it. Warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, bro, Salvation Army. Yeah. This bar's nice. Snowmobile bars are nice. Julie's nice. Julie's yeah, Julie nice. the waitress. She's yeah. a nice lady. Yeah. Snowmobile bars. You know why awesome. she's nice? Because she rode here in a Tahoe and not on a snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> All right, fellas, this is it. We finally made it to the Mackinac Bridge. Max, how you feeling? Awful. Yeah, Matt? Feeling all right. You know, it's the longest suspension bridge in the world. The frozen, deadly Straits of Mackinac, we've got to cross them both. It's a pretty serious adventure. You guys ready to do this? <laughs> yeah, so one really nice thing, Michigan provides snowmobile transport across the Mackinac Bridge. So for 10 bucks, some dude comes, picks you up, takes you across, drops you off on the other side, no problem. Michigan, greater than your state. Okay, you say about 20 minutes? Uh, now listen, I've got some uh, luggage with me. Uh, will I have room to uh, put my luggage into the car? Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you then. Well, Luke's over there playing with his director set. This is so small, I can just shove it in the back of the van cab. What's this guy supposed to be here? About 20 minutes. All right. We were able to find a great deal to get across the bridge. Unfortunately, it was with the most boring taxi driver on the planet. We started in Grand Rapids, and we're trying to get from Grand Rapids to the island on uh, snow machines. Oh, really? And so, uh, you know, we've got these little moped-looking things, mm -hmm. and we got another buddy who's got an old uh, Yamaha Exciter. Yeah. And uh, he called up the, uh, you know, you call the state, and they come across with a trailer and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that, he's already waiting for us to cross the bridge. After 260 something odd miles on a snow rabbit, a ski 50, and a piece of shit 80 snowmobile, we got four miles left to go to Mackinac Island. You can see the Christmas trees out there? It's time for the ice bridge, dudes. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's do it. What's the deal? Uh-oh. Oh my. Well, at least must have got jammed or something. God damn it. No, Just walk 260 it. miles on a ski 50, dude. We're finishing. Where's he, where's he going? What's he doing? He's leaving us. What are we supposed to do? What can we do? We can't do anything. We are dead in the middle of the Straits of Mackinac right now. This is insane. All right, come on, let's go before we fall on the job.
Hi, I'm a giant pussy. The ice bridge is shit scary, and I'm never gonna fucking do it ever, ever again. <laughs>